The APIE journey, nursing process, begins for Sumira, a patient with a head injury in the assessment station. This patient is a little more complicated than other OSCE patients. She requires not just measuring of vital signs, but a good neurological observation assessment. Her GCS Glasgow comma scale will not drop below the score of 13. So Mira will only have mild symptoms, likely to be disorientation or be asleep when you meet her and a bit drowsy. She won't present as extremely unwell. She has a set of problems common to many head injury patients. Although she may be confused, she won't be showing signs of a massive head trauma and will not be in a critical condition. She may have other concerns such as headache, worry about her condition, the whereabouts of her family members, etc. The head injured patient has always sustained a subdural hematoma. Although not always life-threatening, it is a potentially dangerous medical condition and in real life, the patient could deteriorate. However, in the OSCE, the patient will not become dangerously unwell. They will have relatively mild symptoms. You should be looking for disorientation to person, time and place when she is questioned or slight drowsiness as in her eyes are shut when you enter the room and she requires you to wake her up with your voice. Sumira Patel is a typical OSCE case study. She will require neurological assessment, a set of vital sign observation documented on a standard GCS chart. Reassuming her throughout the assessment is vital. You do not need to fill in two charts, that is, news to and GCS. All her vital signs will go on the GCS chart. In-hospital observations of patients with a head injury should only be conducted by professionals competent in the assessment of head injury. Ensure you are competent on the assessment of these patients prior to the exam. Use evidence-based practice by following the standard accepted GCS monitoring technique and therefore demonstrating understanding and competency in this skill. For patients admitted for head injury observations, the minimum accepted documented neurological observations are the three parts of GCS assessment, including the following. Eyes opening. Best verbal response and obeying commands. Pupil size and reactivity. Limb movements. Respiratory rate. Heart rate. Blood pressure. Temperature blood oxygen saturation. Development of agitation or abnormal behavior. A drop of one point in GCS score. It is very unlikely in the OSCE the patient will have a GCS lower than 13 as they would require constant monitoring. Development of severe or increasing headache or persistent vomiting new or evolving neurological symptoms or signs such as pupil inequality or asymmetry of limb or facial movement, increased confusion or drowsiness, blurred vision or unsteady gait, leakage of clear fluid or blood from ears or nose, deranged vital signs. As a rule, if the patient with a GCS of 15 deteriorates at any time Observations should revert to half-hourly or, if they are stable, follow the original frequency schedule. Immediate escalation to a doctor must be made for any patient with a drop of one or more points on the GCS. Some head injury patients are observed often for minimum of six hours and then allowed to go home. So be mindful of varying plans for head injury patients as some people will be absorbed in the ward overnight. Persistent vomiting, severe headache, drug or alcohol intoxication, shock, 
suspected non-accidental injury, meningism or cerebral spinal fluid leak, CT scan showing a bleed or skull fracture. Consciousness is measured directly by assessing an individual's response and behaviours using a range of stimuli. Their response can give an indication of the level at which sensory information within the central nervous system has been interpreted. Eye opening Evaluation of verbal response Evaluation of motor response Specifically, neurological observations include assessment of current conscious level, limb assessments in response to stimuli, pupil size and speed of reaction to light. Performed the following. Any patient diagnosed as suffering from neurological conditions. At least four hours frequency indicated by the patient's condition to monitor the condition of the patient so that any necessary action can be instigated, to monitor the condition closely and to detect trends so that appropriate action may be taken. Demonstrating hand hygiene, correctly identifying the patient, maintaining safety, maintaining Sumira's comfort, Explaining the assessment and checking her understanding. Taking Sumira's neurological observations. Recording and scoring Sumira's GCS correctly. Offering Sumira health promotion. Assessing her ADLs, activities of daily living. Assessing her individual problems.